Love, wedding, and marriage are themes that are present in all types of music. The three, however, should not be confused. Love is a feeling, an attachment to a person. A wedding is a ceremony, while marriage is a lifelong institution. In modern popular songs, those concepts are often confused. Songs like Assurance by Davido or Libala by Yale Lewis are an example of such confusion. The marriage and the wedding are sometimes made undistinguishable. Furthermore, the wedding ceremony is often seen as a culmination of a love story between two people. While a lot of modern love songs follow the direction, there was a time where marriage was seen less as a culmination and more like the start of a long path full of obstacles. The purpose of this video is to try to understand why there has been a shift when it comes to the perspective on marriage. So hello, welcome to the Botengu channel. I use this channel to show videos about music theory, others with myself playing music, and I also like to make small documentaries on African music. You can like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Yulu Mabiala is a singer from Congo Brazzaville. He was part of the legendary TPOK jazz group in Kinshasa, and later went on to create his own band, Orkest Kamikaze Loningisa, back in Brazzaville. He has written a lot of songs where he impersonates married women and narrates the difficulty they have trying to make their marriage work. There are many sources of marriage failures, and I chose to categorize them in three groups. Sometimes the source of failure is external. The entourage, the neighbors, and the in-laws can all potentially contribute to the failure of a marriage through the rumors that they start. Those rumors can often lead to deterioration of their trust within the couple. Yulu discusses those types of rumors in the song Un fois deux égale ma bé. Sometimes, the source of fears comes from the other partner. His or her flaw can start affecting the relationship. As Yule explains in the song Judoka, where the flaws are the infidelities of the husband. Finally, the source of failures can come from us instead of from our partners. It can be our shortcomings, our behavior, or simply our past. The song Mamu alludes to a woman imploring her husband to stay after the latter found a compromising picture of her from her younger years. Now that I've made my point about the sharp shift on marriage perspective, let's try to understand the causes of that shift. Honestly, this is just my opinion. I believe that the answer lies in the market the singers are trying to reach. Back in the days, growing up were a relatively more important market as they had more money, and the revenues were made by selling discs. Today, revenues are made by streaming, and kids usually have more time to stream. It is easier to sell fantasies to kids about what marriage will be like and combine the concepts of love, marriage, and wedding. However, it is not always easy to sell the same fantasy to the people who have seen it all. Instead, it is much easier to identify with their reality and essentially selling them a mirror. The narrative about marriage in songs like the ones made by Yulu Mabiela and others can also be beneficial. Although they paint a negative image about marriage, let's not forget that in African religious environments, marriage is an obligatory passage. Hence, you lose songs were not a deterrent, but rather a psychological preparation. The more you warn people about the risk, the more they can prepare and thus be happy. Now, what does that tell us about the perspective of marriage that is promoted in music nowadays and its effect on the happiness of married people? That is up to you to conclude. I'm really just here to pay tribute to a legend. Long life to you, Yulu Mabiela. <laughs>